So my name is Errol Leko. My b-boy name is Raphael. I'm from a crew called Paranormal Pandas Crew, and I'm 22 years old. And how long have you been breaking? I've been breaking now for about nine years, and uh, next year, actually, with my crew, we're going to be 10 years together, so. Uh, when, when what got, first got you into breaking? What first got me into breaking was being a troublemaker back in the day, and, you know, being a hard-headed kid, so I wanted to have something of a creative outlet, you know, like turning my like negative energy into positive energy. So I thought when I first saw breaking for the first time as a kid, I thought that would be like one of the best ways to like kind of let my energy out. So I wanted to know what that was like. I wanted to know what it was like to to feel sort of like uh like that you were a part of something special, you know. So. That was one of the things that definitely like clicked in me that, you know, I just wanted to know what they were feeling. Early influences, uh, mainly are all local, local b-boys. Uh, Bob Varela, one of them, b-boy Boob Jester. Uh, John Serla, b-boy Drift 2. And um, uh, my crewmate, uh, Kevin Tolentino, He's, uh, his b-boy name is uh, b-boy Kevio. And those three guys mainly locally and growing up in the scene were my earliest influences, definitely. And what are your current inspirations in breaking and why? Current influences in breaking is pretty much the whole Winnipeg scene, uh, older generation and younger generation, and definitely the whole Canadian scene. The Canadian scene is definitely one, one of the biggest inspirations to me from east to west coast. Like growing up as, as a younger b-boy, I had to kind of find myself and find my style. So the inspirations coming from from the local from the local b-boys like that drove me to try to be, you know, as as good as the next person. So definitely the Winnipeg scene and Canadian scene are my biggest inspirations. And what inspires you to keep breaking? What inspires me to keep breaking is the fact that, you know, breaking was something that that brought the negative energy in me and turned it into something positive and and just literally just made me happy per, a happier person you know and I kind of found myself with breaking so I continue to just break just because you know I see I see different aspects in breaking that that kind of I want to I want to you know better myself in you know so like if, it, if it's in terms with the actual dance itself or in life like I just want to be able to you know know that dance is dance was something that I can kind of go to in case you know I'm not feeling something a certain way or you know I'm not doing something for the day you know I feel like I continue to dance just because like I know it's something that will forever kind of stay with me you know yeah so I want to do it as long as possible like until I'm old so why I wanted to throw shook ones mainly was because I wanted to give back to the scene I wanted to give back to the local b-boys I wanted to give back to the to the dance community and you know like you know if people want to put it out there it's not about the money it's not about it's not about trying to make, you know, my name bigger or, you know, trying to do anything like that. I mainly wanted to just give back to the community and let, you know, Winnipeg know that there's still something special going on with dance and with breaking, especially breaking because it was such an exposed thing, like, back in the day that I feel like people have kind of forgot about breaking. And if, you know, and if you, if people have forgotten about breaking, at least they know it's still in the heart, like, of their, it's, it's, it's in their back door, you know, like... And I want Winnipeg to know that, you know, mainly for the local b-boys especially, that it's still here. I want to give back to them. And, you know, because I was given that as a younger generation, b-boy coming up, you know, the older guys kept throwing jams for us because, you know, it bettered us. So I feel it's my duty to do the same thing for the younger generations. Uh, and what was your most memorable battle? My most memorable battle was uh, definitely the one with John Serla, uh, Drift 2. Shout out to him, by the way, because he was one of my biggest influences. Um, yeah, scariest battle. I was going up against someone who I, I respected highly. And, you know, he took me out and and it really like it really brought the best out of me. So having that having ba having battled him, you know, it, 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 it taught me a lot. So it, it showed me that, like, you know, you're going to come across the people that kind of you you were inspired by that you idolize, you know, so. That was definitely a memorable battle. And some people say you can learn more from your losses than from your wins. Definitely, yeah, definitely. You know, you, you got to lose to win, for sure. Like, you got to know what it's like to lose. Because after losing that battle, 
it definitely made me train harder. It made me want to be better than him, you know? And, and that's the, and that's the thing is you're just as good as your last battle. So you got to make sure that, you know, you got to come correct the next time. And, and what, what legacy do you want to leave on the Winnipeg and Canadian scene? The legacy I want to leave behind in Winnipeg is just the fact that, you know, I want to be one of those household names. I want my crew to be one of those household names. I want B-Boys years from now to be like, you know, back in the day, it was all about Paranormal Pandas crew. And Raphael was one of those dudes who was always, you know, killing it and always, you know, just just being there for everybody. And like mainly that too, is just like giving back to the community. That was one of the main things I always wanted to do growing up too, is wanting to throw my own jams and like, you know, to be able to leave a legacy behind in Winnipeg is just, it would mean a lot to for, for people years from now to know like, you know, that I did something right and, and it hopefully inspires them. And how have you changed, say as a person developmentally um, from the first time you danced to the present moment? Uh, I think for myself, you know, breaking, everyone has their own perception behind breaking. So I feel for me, what breaking did for me, you know, coming up as, as, a, as, as a knucklehead kid and like, you know, being, being uh, influenced in, in kind of a bad way growing up in a tough neighborhood, you know, like, I think breaking gave me the, gave me a second chance. It, it taught me what really like my parents couldn't really teach me because I was so stubborn, you know, so. I think for me, breaking, it taught me how to be disciplined. It taught me how to be, you know, loyal to, to, to the people that you're close with and, and how to stay loyal. And, you know, it taught me how to be respectful. It taught me how to, how to show respect, give respect, and have that given back to me, you know. And, and it just taught me to, all around, just it, it taught me to kind of find myself. Main thing, like something like, how breaking taught me to be like disciplined, you know, like taught me how to be disciplined in ways to, to pay your bills on time, to, you know, clean your room, clean, clean the house, you know, if your parents are bugging you about that. And like, it taught me like in terms of loyalty, it taught me how to like, you know, you know, be there for people, especially if they mean a lot to you and they're important to you. It taught me how to be there for people and, and, and respect, like how to show respect, how to give respect, you know, being a stubborn kid back in the day, I didn't care, you know, and, and now I know what it's like, you know, to show respect because once you have respect for somebody and, and, and you know, even if you don't res expect it back, it shows that like, people will, will know, like, you know, it, it goes hand in hand. So they'll give respect to you back. And, and that's what dance taught me was just like, I think the biggest thing, especially is how to be respectful and how to just uh, pay your dues and pay respects to people that, you know, that have come before you, how to pay homage to people and, you know, I could go on for days about what has what breaking's done for me, but definitely biggest thing is just how to be respectful, how to show respect.